good morning let us discuss about the diffusion pump i will write the heading of the diffusion pump here so pump is mainly used for the shifting the fluid from one state to the another state okay it also helps to lift the fluid so diffusion pump is one of them okay i want to draw the some structure of the diffusion pump here okay so this is the inlet of the diffusion pump okay this is the inlet of the diffusion pump this is the outer frame of the diffusion pump okay so this is the outer frame of the diffusion pump it look like this and uh, this what you are viewing here i am drawing the outlet of the diffusion pump inlet will help to uh, suck the fluid from outside the uh, outside the ch uh, chamber and uh, this frame helps to hold the setup of the diffusion pump and the outlet is help to throw the fluid or gas present in the chamber okay this is the working of the inlet and frame and this is the outlet now i want to draw the chamber here this is the chamber this is the chamber here okay chamber in the sense uh, the frame within which the fluid will burn okay this is the charge charge it may be oil or water or something else here we keep some coils which is the burning coils all or heater okay heater is help to heat the charge and this is the vertical pipe is help to uh, means to move the fluid or charge present in the chamber and this is called as the cooling cap cooling cap is help to cool the steam present inside the chamber next these are called as the nozzles okay nozzles helps to convert the high pressurized steam into high velocity steam okay now come here this is the under part of the diffusion pump okay these are called as the cooling coils okay its working is similar to the cooling cap okay so cooling coils help these are the circular coils present in the outer frame of the diffusion pump help to cool the uh, system means um, it will help to suck the heat from the system that's it now come across the working of the diffusion pump how the diffusion pump will work this is the inlet i want to show into a aroma from which the fluid will enters into the the our frame okay i will take him when the heater is on on the charge present in the chamber of the diffusion pump is uh, try to burn when it is come into a boiling point so the evaporation of the charge is occur evaporation a lot of evaporation makes the steam okay and on making the steam if we apply into high temperature and into high uh, high temp high heat to the this chamber it is converted into a pressurized steam okay pressurized steam its pressure is much more than what we desire so here high pressure steam is get out of the chamber with the help of the nozzles okay these are the nozzles out of the chamber it will get uh, with the help of the nozzles by converting pressurized uh, fluid that pressurized steam 
into high velocity steam high velocity steam this high velocity steam is mixed with the inlet fluid which is coming from the inlet of the diffusion pump and uh, with them the velocity of the these steam molecules is uh, transferred into the molecules from which are coming from the inlet it will get out of the chamber by the flowing the path into like this okay this is the here one time here we may use the what we call it as a pump okay pump is used for the sucking the sucking or suction of the particle present in the within the chamber so this is the how the diffusion pump will works okay that's it guys hope uh, the video will understand and uh, you understand the how the diffusion pump will work so like this video that's it